In this lecture, I'll give you an overview of NetApp's converged infrastructure solutions, RATS FlexPod and NFlex. The converged infrastructure solutions from NetApp give you best practice configurations for various different workloads. They use storage systems from NetApp. It could be FAS or AFF or SolidFire, etc. Whatever fits best to the particular workload that you want to deploy. And it uses compute and network components from NetApp's partners. So the two different types are FlexPod and NFlex. Covering FlexPod first. That uses Cisco UCS servers for the compute, Cisco Nexus switches for the networking, and NetApp storage systems. Validated design documents detail the hardware and software configuration to put the entire solution together. And that entire solution, the whole system, can be built by you, the customer, yourself, or provided by a local NetApp partner so you can find the documentation that tells you exactly what to do and all the different parts to do that with you can then order them and you can rack it up and put it together yourself or if you don't want to do that then you can just get a local NetApp partner to do it for you and I'll show you those design guides in a second the other converged infrastructure solution from NetApp is NFlex. So with FlexPod, that is NetApp and Cisco. NFlex is Fujitsu, Fujitsu Premier G CX servers for the compute, extreme network switches for the networking, and NetApp AFF storage. NFlex has been around for a much shorter period of time than FlexPod. FlexPod's been available for a long time. The NFlex systems, that's not just design documents that you or a partner can actually put together. With NFlex, you can order that as an orderable system from NetApp or from Fujitsu. And as you would expect with converged infrastructure solutions, you get a single point of support when you order that. The use cases for converged infrastructure, well, there's best practice configurations for loads of different workloads. So the use cases is pretty much anything that you would require storage for. And I'll show you those design guides now. So let's have a look on the cisco.com website now. So I got to this page just by Googling for FlexPod design guides. That'll land you on this page. And if I just scroll down slowly, you can see that there are loads of different design guides depending on the type of workload that you want to run there. So, for example, there's VMware ESXi, there's also Hyper-V and Citrix is in here as well, SAP, etc, etc. I'm still scrolling down, so lots of different design guides are available there. I will show you the very top one, so I'll just open that in a new tab. So you can see what these design guides look like. We've got the table of contents up at the top. And then under there, it's going to give us a summary of what this entire system is going to be doing. A little bit further down, we get a high level diagram of what the solution looks like. Then I go down a little further, it tells you exactly the different hardware parts that make up the solution and the software versions that are running on there. Then further down, I'm going to get into some more detailed diagrams that shows how everything is cabled. And a little further down, it also lists out exactly what port gets connected to what port. So you can see exactly how to physically put everything together. And then if I scroll down quite a bit further, you can see that it gives you the actual configuration to enter on all of the different components as well. So by doing this, it gives you the complete solution of your compute, your networking and the storage, and it's guaranteed to be best practice and it saves you all the effort of doing the design yourself. So very, very useful. Okay, and I'll just go back to the slides just to finally show you a couple of racks. 
one which is a flex pod rack and another one which is n flex with the fujitsu equipment thanks for watching if you want to get hands-on practice with netapp storage for free on your laptop then you can download my free ebook which you can see above my head right now also check out my netapp storage complete course which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. thanks